Welcome to Mage, I'm Rhino. This is the episode 3 of Next Gen MTG. It is magic discussion by kids and youth for the next generation of competition for you. Today I'm joined by Max from South Australia. Before we get started, I have two things. One, I want to thank our supporters for helping our mm, this channel. They help us mm, continue making bigger and better magic content just like this. If you want to be a supporter helping the next generation of magic content, you can find that in the link below. In the second, I want to ask you to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode. Now on to the topics. Today we will cover a few things. Young players at an LGS playing in leagues and you'll just have to wait and see. But it's the thing all young players try to do. Let's get started. How did you get started playing at your LGS? Well, it was really just like my dad started playing it and then I started and then I just fell in love with it, so I started playing it and got better and better by the by the time I started playing it. Okay. How I got started was uh by the time I was playing Pokemon, and uh, every single time it just felt the same. Every single time I played Pokemon, it felt like the I was just playing it the same way. And I was trying to find a, a different game, and I was be like, no, no, not that game, not that game. And then I ran across what's Magic: The Gathering, and then. Uh, ever since I, I, uh, I've been playing. How I got started in playing it at my LGS, I, it was mm, at the Origins pre-release, and, uh, and yeah, I, I just went with that. What set did you start with? Um, I started in Dominaria with the pre-release. Okay. So with all those historic stuff? Yeah, very much. Very much historics. And I started around Origins? In 15, thereabouts? So... Okay. So, how many other young players play at your LGS? Um, about four or five. Oh, I was about to say, I'm where you the only one. <laughs> and I'm the only one. <laughs> You're lucky. <laughs> okay. So, uh, have you played in any magic leagues? Um, I played in two, but one of them is still going. I played in a playing hooker league, and I'm still going in a commander league. I played in a booster pack league. Uh, started with three packs and. Um, you build a seal deck, and then each week you, you get an extra pack to build a seal deck. How many people played in your league? Um, it was about 11 or 12, 12 or 13, I don't know. I wasn't counting the people, so I couldn't, you know. Uh, I, the ones that were playing in my league, there was nine, approximately. Uh, so, not 
kan <laughs> What thing do you want your next week to be? Um I was gonna have a, a I really want to stand at Cause then you could just bring your own deck instead of having to like what I really want was a uh, popper league. Uh, it's just commons, just common mm, cards, and you can put in a uh, card from other sets, older sets. So that unstable stuff. Um, I wouldn't say unstable. No, I think that's more for dragon. Now this is the number one thing that new and young players want to do. They want to beat their parents. When was the first time you beat your parent playing Magic? Um, the first game I played, I bet my dad. Like the first ever game I played. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh... It, when I started, it was quite a while uh, from like uh, from Origins to a few years after uh, Origins. No. About two, sort of. That's when I finally. <laughs> it is a pretty long time. <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> when did you rank higher than your parent in a tournament? Um, I ranked higher than my dad in not stable class. I came fifth, and dad came, and my dad came ninth. And I came fifth out of fourteen. There was, I had a win on. Unstable, which is the one I came fifth out of fourteen. Um, so I had this mother kangaroo out, and I made a steam power kangaroo, which I get tapped by roll a die, it gets plus one plus one for the result. Six sided die. Oh. So I tapped five twice on my turn. I rolled a six and a two, which gave it plus eight plus eight. And it was only like a 1-1. One, one. So, so it made it a 9... A 9-9 nine, nine, and then it get And then it gets plus 4 from the um, augment. Which made it... 9-13. Then I did it again on my opponent's turn. Which made it an 11-15. Oh man. 11-15 and then I hit... He was on 6 at the time. And I let him leave for one turn. Did you win? Oh, I attacked him, but he blocked it. Um, yeah, I won. I won. <laughs> and then, and I, I had to, as soon as I got two greens, I played a beast in the show, a six for the trample. So then, oh, so I had, then I untapped. He had no blockers at all, so I just went boom. And then we only that was the first game. And we were meant to play two games, but he could see what the second game was gonna be like. He could see it would be death for him on the second game too. So you just conceded. So that's why you just conceded on me. So I got the round win from that. So I had a loss, a round win, and then for the other round I had two round wins. And the other round win was a fight. So buy which can is around with. And I uh I came in in first uh with five times in a row. So Wow. <laughs> that was several drafts that I did that I came fit in. That was actually the only draft. Tournament, I bet my daddy. And also, 
this was the play mat that I won. Wow, that is cool. I'll just put that there for now. Okay. Should parents let their kids win? I don't think they should, because then it's because then if like, other people get into the spirit of that, then all the kids would just win instead of them. So yes, I don't think parents should let their kids win. Um, so if we have to get give them a challenge, uh, and yeah, it. It's just simple as that. You just give them a fitting challenge and then there we go. And when you win, you don't learn anything special. So do you, uh, can you think of anything that you want to ask me? How long after you started to play Magic did you start the channel? Uh, about one year, uh, and then I went into uh, the YouTube stuff. That was a great show. I'd like to thank Max for joining me today. But before you go, we need your help. How can we make this show better? Do you know a, a young player that would love to be on Next Gen MPG? Put them in the comments below. Also, if you can give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, that would help us so much. So, Max, where can people find you? Um, on Twitter, if they can find me on at Tanker eighty four on YouTube and Twitch too. Okay. You can find me at MTG Young Mage on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and probably some other places. I have more videos coming out soon. So until then, Rhino and Max are shoveled back into the library.